The Way Home or Face the Fire by Ja The Survival Plan for All Human Plus Beings Chapter 3 The Creation of Human Animals 2 Asedras 621 And the children of a year old shall speak with their voices. The woman with child pregnant shall bring forth untimely, premature children of three or four months old, and they shall live and be raised up. The doctors then, by filling the world with sick bodies, have ensured for themselves and the pharmaceutical companies a secure job for life. If those babies then grow up and have children, they then make the situation even worse by passing on and multiplying through their genes the imperfections. Carried to its ultimate conclusion, the entire world would end up being sick and crippled with no one healthy enough to be able to work and pay taxes for or personally take care of the sick or be able to grow food to feed themselves and the sick. The whole thing is self-defeating, with the ever-decreasing healthy population paying more and more taxes to maintain the ever-increasing sick and crippled population, all of which is caused by a lack of faith. All you chronically sick and crippled people have your parents' selfishness, the doctors and your own, and everyone else's insanity and lack of faith to thank for your suffering. When, if you let go and they stop meddling, you could have a brand new, perfectly healthy body to use, instead of suffering in your present one. When you break the rules or have lack of faith in God and His wisdom, you automatically cause yourself to suffer. There is also a very good reason why some people can not have babies, and that is either because their genes of their bodies would create unhealthy babies, as explained above, or God either does not consider them fit to be parents because they would teach a child the wrong things, or he is punishing them for what they did in a former human life which could have been mistreating their children. Turn to God for your cures and answers, not to men. Natural medicine, creams, herbal remedies, etc., and the stitching of wounds, setting of broken bones, delivering babies, and nursing are a natural part of loving and caring for one another. Because of this lack of real faith in God and life after death, with people consequently clinging desperately to the present human life that they have, no matter what the cost, we now have a world full of sick people and overflowing hospitals and some very rich doctors and pharmaceutical companies, all of which are a terrific drain on society. Doctors are unknowingly assisting Satan by helping people to continue to go the wrong way do evil because they are keeping people's bodies healthy by artificial means. They too have underestimated Satan, been conned, and many sincerely believe that they are helping mankind when, in fact, they have been deceived and are actually working for Satan and mankind's destruction. The road to hellfire is paved with good intentions. If God and surgeons are doing what is right, that is, God's will, why do they suffer so much from stress that many of them are heavy smokers and drinkers at best and alcoholics at worst, abusing tranquilizing drugs and have nervous breakdowns? Stress is caused by a lack of faith, by fear and by going against God's will, not by overwork. Overworking causes physical tiredness, not stress. If they are so clever and know all the answers, as you seem to think they do, because you go to them, for your answers, why don't they heal themselves? Physician, heal thyself. They cannot and are not clever, and you go to them for help instead of going to God, as you should. Deuteronomy 32.39 See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. The medical people have made human death almost totally illegal and have removed and hidden it away from society and thereby made it an unfamiliar thing to be feared and avoided at any cost. Human death is a perfectly natural, necessary and good thing and is unimportant because you are not human. It should be a natural part of everyday life and not something to hide away from view and consequently to be feared. It is why your body dies that is important. The death itself does not matter. 
except if it is murdered or you commit suicide. God takes the attitude that if you want to prolong your own suffering because you have no faith in him, and also extend your own sentence and punishment by not moving on to learn new things that you should be learning, then he will let you continue to punish yourselves. You are also, by doing this, wasting what precious little time you have left to earn your pardon. The fire is getting closer by the minute. The answer to every question in life is with God. Don't look to humans for answers or cures. Look to your maker. God is not just a body mechanic like a doctor. He is the designer, builder, and master engineer. Doctors, surgeons, and psychiatrists do not know how to make a human plus being, but God does. They do not even know what a soul, being, jinn is, or where it came from, or what a human animal is and the interrelationship between the two. God does. Get it right with God first, then heal yourself from within, or get your punishment commuted and get a new body to use and a fresh start. Why punish yourselves? You can never beat God. If you could, he would be here instead of you. Being afraid of human death makes absolutely no sense. Being alive. The death line. Spiritual being still alive. Not being. You no longer exist. What is there to worry about? As promised earlier in this chapter, I am now going to explain for the benefit of those people who have made the wrong assumption that is that I must hate women, how their logic upon which they have based this wrong assumption is totally illogical, and how those same people have no idea what real love is. If I hated women, and knowing as I do what they are doing now is not only harming them, but is ultimately going to cause them to be executed then surely, if I did hate them, I would be telling them to carry on doing what they are doing and advising people to take advantage of them sexually and in other ways so that they will be executed, wouldn't I? What am I doing? I am putting myself into a position where I will have to suffer verbal and possibly physical abuse from the ones who do not want to try to understand in an attempt to help them to save their own lives, not mine. Real love. What are those who falsely claim to love women doing? They are telling lies to women because they are pathetic, telling women that they love them to enable themselves to be able to steal sexual favors and thereby are deceiving them and leading them astray, causing heartache, creating unwanted babies, and messing up women's minds and lives, creating terrible havoc in the world. Who really loves you ladies, me or them? You decide. Now can you see your own illogic?